kill. One enemy remaining. This game sound audio and this music audio are both running to the same set of headphones without a mixer, Go XLR, voice meter, any of that. But I can balance the level separately or just not record the music. Thanks to an OBS plugin that has finally come out a couple days ago, allowing us to capture a specific Windows application separate from the rest of your system sound within OBS Studio. This is super exciting and has some limitations, but I am very stoked to share it with you because this has been like the number one request I get on how to do, and the answer typically has either been expensive or complicated to set up. I'm Ebos Vox, the stream professor. I make tons of OBS Studio tutorials here on the channel, so get subscribed and hit the notification button so you can stay informed. Let's flip over to the desktop so I can show you this awesome plugin and some of its limitations you might run into. So the way this works is similarly to how the new window capture and game capture features in OBS Studio as well as Discord's screen share calling because it's one of the only programs Discord is that you can actually use to screen share a specific program or game and with some degree of reliability, which is the same that's going to be here, it captures just the game sound instead of your system sound. Unfortunately, the alternative is if it doesn't capture just specifically that application sound, it captures nothing at all. And that is kind of what we're going to encounter here. We're going to test out some games after I show you the basic setup process. To install it, you either just extract the files and run the install at bat as administrator, or you can copy the files, but they're not laid out as usual, so I'm going to kind of feature that real quick here. So in the zip file, there's the .pdp and dll file, which you then copy over to your OBS install directory, OBS plugins, 64-bit, and paste them in here. And then go into the data directory and copy all of these files to your OBS install directory, data, OBS plugins, and then make a new folder called win-capture-audio and paste all those files in there. Once you have relaunched OBS Studio, you should now have a new source in your sources list. If you click the plus, you can now add application audio output capture. This is a new source. Click OK. We're going to call this game sound. Of course, this could be used for any application. And then this looks very similar to the game capture hooking. So you can capture a specific window, which is what we're primarily going to focus on because that's going to be more reliable. But you can technically just say to capture any foreground window if you set up a hotkey. Uh, which is interesting. Uh, so you could just swap between at will if you just want to show whatever the primary program you're working in is. Just keep in mind, this won't work with all programs. So we're going to go with specific window. And then you choose your game or program from the list. Okay, cool. Learning how to set it up is great, but it's not perfect. There are some restrictions due to the way Windows' weird APIs work. Let's talk about some of the games you might not be able to capture. So for example, if I pull up uh, say Google Chrome real quick. I have a Kit Boga video playing in Google Chrome right now. So back in OBS, we can go to specific window and choose the YouTube video one and click OK. But you can see here under game sound, we're not getting any audio even though the video is still playing. And that's because Chrome and electron based things, which includes Discord, do not work here for some reason. So we can't use that. But theoretically, this should work for your games. So for example, if I launch a Medieval here, go ahead and click OK. Game is launched, it's making sound, we switch windows into OBS, go back to properties. You will need to close and reopen that if you open a new window, there's no like refresh button. Come down here and we choose a Medieval. Click OK, click into the game, game is running, and you can see sound is playing through that audio device. And then of course you can separate it out to multiple audio tracks or divide it up however you want. However, for example, if we get the game sound going here, you can see this separates it from our Google Chrome sound, which is still not playing through this audio device, but a medieval is. So the same thing applies to music, your Discord calls, whatever. Whatever you have going for that specific application is all that's going to be captured, so then you can pair it with a game capture source, medieval, capture specific window, and of course, if you do the hotkey method, then you can combine the hotkeys. But you may not want to do that because specific programs might work. So here we have the game and its sound capturing to OBS. Great. The issue is, is again, it doesn't work with everything. So for example, it worked with a medieval. It does not work with Halo. So we have Halo running here. But if we come in here to our game sound, choose Master Chief Collection, click OK, click into the game. You can see here we have no audio levels showing up. The hook doesn't work. Unfortunately, the same is true here of Apex Legends. I also tested it with both Candy Crush and Roblox from the Windows Store, and neither sound could be captured per the description on GitHub. However, we did get a medieval working, and Old School RuneScape works as well.
that sweet, sweet RuneScape music. Now, specifically here, this lists a limitation of being in conflict with Shadowplay, which is weird because Shadowplay does not capture just the specific Windows audio in the first place. It captures your whole device, uh, and leaving Shadowplay on was not an issue for me. However, when testing the games that did not work, I did disable Shadowplay just to be sure. Just as an interesting note, I set it up to capture Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve just to see if it wanted to, if you wanted to do videos or streams about video editing, and it does capture Resolve sound, even though I would have thought it would have been a more direct access mode the plugin can capture it, which is pretty cool. Obviously, adding the source itself is fairly straightforward. You just choose your window, update it as needed. There's an anti-cheat compatibility hook. I recommend leaving that on unless you run into specific issues. The same applies to game capture. Uh, most of these you want to leave on the default, including hook rate, unless you just have some weird situation where another program that you have trying to hook games, or audio in this case, is hooking it before OBS. You could do this. Generally, normal is going to be the way to go to not cause issues. That is straightforward. From there, you of course just go to advanced audio properties and manage your checkboxes to separate out your individual audio tracks so that if you want it recorded separately, it is separate from your microphone audio or your Discord call audio coming through an audio device, etc. But that's pretty cool. Granted, this doesn't allow you to separate Discord out from your system sounds, for example. So if you have your game sound going out to the same audio device as your Discord call, then you can capture your game on its own, which is great for highlights and things like that. But you can't capture Discord on its own separate from the game sound, so there are limitations here, but I think it's pretty cool regardless. And of course, if you don't know how to record multiple audio tracks in the first place, that's under Output, Advanced, and then you check all these boxes and manage the Advanced Audio Properties track listings over here. I have a full video from my OBS Masterclass about doing this linked below. This is a really awesome plugin, and I'm glad it's finally out there, especially since Discord has had this feature for a little while now. I always wondered why the OBS devs didn't at least add this in as an option, but Obviously, you're going to run into some restrictions for that. I'll have some videos coming soon on alternatives to the Go XLR, which is my usual device recommendation for doing this kind of thing, coming soon, so get subscribed. Otherwise, go check out this video on seven kind of hidden or less talked about OBS settings that you should check on to make sure your stream is running smoothly and you have the control over it that you should. Thank you for watching. Remember, be kind. Rewind.